Oh my gosh. If you guys see what just happened, you've got to watch that video. But eagle-eyed football here with Neil. How was that match today? Well, it was amazing. First thing I just want to say is, what a wonderful thing to have John Texter on the channel. That is absolutely amazing. But um, he really seems honest and passionate about Palace. And he, you know, him and his family are here and they're absolutely loving it. And he just feels like really part of the fan base, which is what a brilliant thing for Palace. But as far as today's concerned, Dodgy first 20 minutes, but once we got into the, uh, once we got into it, we all threw our shape, shape when uh, Townsend went off, a bit more defensively, and then all of a sudden, got SA more into the game, pushed forward, fantastic. No one wins 4-0 in the quarter final, nobody. And we managed to do it, that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> well, you just took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say, um, Mitchell. Right, at full back today, how good were they? Well, I think, I think they were fantastic. I mean, you can't just you know, single out there and mock and say Gway and Anderson and even Button when he had to do what he had to do, what he had to do. It's fantastic. The whole defence really just left Everton with maybe a couple of easy shots that he didn't really have to make a save really to be honest with Button. It was so easy for him. It was absolutely incredible to, you know, just absolutely blown away. We're going to win for me. If anyone's ever been to Wembley, you know that it's a whole day out, it's a fantastic occasion. Baker Street, Victoria, just get down here. The Palace will it. be there. The Palace will be there in full for about, well, let's hope it's a late start so we can get there at 11 o'clock. Really enjoy the day. <laughs> hit, hit the pubs early. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Oh, Absolutely. man. Yeah, three, four hours before kickoff. Oh. Probably a couple of last things we're going to talk about today, but how was the atmosphere in the stadium? It was rocking. I mean, from the, from, the, from the first minute to the last, it was, you know, everybody was up. I mean, obviously the game helps, of course it does, but, you know, everyone's, up, everyone's behind the palace, and you know what they say, no pyro, no party. <laughs> no pyro, no party. There were many pyros in the Holmesdale today, trust me. Um, but anyway, who was your man in the match today? Do, do you know, I, I see what everyone else has said and I, I actually agree, but I can't, I cannot pick out one particular person that did brilliantly because they all did fantastically well. The, the defence, the Tetters running up front, the amount of, I mean, as they got more into the game, at least they caused some problems. I mean, QRT really ran the midfield on his own defensively. I can't say, I can't say. The whole team are absolutely fantastic. Well, we're going to Wembley. We are going to Wembley. Going to be there, no question about it. Come on, up the palace. Up the palace every day. <laughs> Just a recording. <laughs>